Hello YouTubers, Chicago PR Prepper here. Today's video, Prepping 101, Basic First Aid. Basic First Aid for burns, cuts, wounds, scratches, rash, headache, diarrhea, fever, pain. And what you need to have to help prevent or help clean up heal some examples are like non-stick gauze because you don't want that sticking to your wound and then you got to peel it out and you'll start bleeding all over again <clears throat> syringe syringe has multiple purposes uh, like washing out your eyes washing out a wound uh, injecting uh, tweezers in case you have a, a, a splint little splinter pull it out or help with the sutures, but that goes into another form of, of uh, higher, not a higher end, but a uh, like a level two uh, first aid. Gloves always have. It's always important to have gloves. You don't want to be contaminated. You don't want to contaminate the person that you're helping. Ointments. There are several types of ointments to have and to use. It's towelettes, wipes, iodine. Wound seal compression bandage. I'm going to show you a few examples of, and we're going to start with uh, the pills. What I did with the pills, I put them in individual little baggies and I put them in one bag right here so that way it doesn't contaminate or cross contaminate. Uh, so basically, it's for fevers, pain, diarrhea, and headache simple small bag but this I use this one for my gold bag I have a bigger bag so I got more medication for that bag I have also <clears throat> creams and wipes got your ointments uh, you got your towelettes you got your iodine and I also individually wrap these especially these ointments because they do they do tend to burst so you want to keep them in individual bags so that way if it does burst it doesn't contaminate your other your other uh, uh, medications or oil and stuff like that like this one here I have burns cuts and scrapes so it's best to have them individually marked in case something you have an emergency and you don't have time to look for it you pull it out BAM lay it across the floor on the table you see right here, burns, cuts, wounds, uh, etc. So these are these are just examples, and uh, this is basically geared for those that starting out don't know where to start out to. So uh, if you have any other ideas, please uh, post them, and I will incorporate them on the next video because this is part one. You know, I always have part ones and part twos. This box here. I got from first aid only. I got it at uh, Amazon. It's got 18 individual boxes. And I'll put the description below. And you can see they're, they're color, color coded. It's real basic. It's like, it's like a filler for your first aid box. And uh, like I said, I picked this up for uh, $20. Well, $30 at Amazon. It's a good starter pack. It does come in a cardboard box, so you might have to uh, uh, put them somewhere where it's more uh, waterproof or something like that because uh, you don't want this to get destroyed, especially if you just pay $30 for something like this. It's a good investment. It's a good starter pack. It's always good to have a lot of these. Uh, Cohesive bandages. 
I got them in my go bag. I got them in my medical bag. And also put with the cohesive bandages, your scissors. It's got the tip sealed. Yeah. Get a bunch of these at Amazon, Walmart, Walgreens, your big box stores. I got these scissors in all my all my packs, at least one or two pairs. It's also important to know your first aid. I mean, go online, get your learn, learn your basic first aid, especially this level one here. It's it's especially for you moms, you got kids, <laughs> you're already a paramedic. Cause as soon as little Johnny or little Betty goes outside, they coming back with some, either with a pet or with some sort of cut and uh, uh, scratch wound, lice, you know. So, you always gotta be prepared. I uh, I got this wound seal here. It's got the little applicator on there. It's good to have. I got the bigger uh, tube of cortisone, cortisone 10, for bigger uh, uh, applications. I have more of these wipes. The hide down wipes, you can buy them in boxes. Could never have enough gloves. I got gloves in, in my go to bag, my IFAC. Uh, more gauze pads. Oh, there goes that. And uh, waterproof tape. Got about four of these. Got them in my, all my bags. Bug out, go to, stay home. So it's real, you know, it's very important to uh, keep some of this. It's a good investment. Um, doesn't have to be for uh, uh, SHTF. It could be for everyday application. Uh, I hope you find found this information useful. Uh, there's going to be a part two to this. Uh, I may do a... Uh, uh, more tools, utensils, um, other things that I forgot on this one here, but I'll add them in part two. Uh, thank you for taking your time to view this video. Please like and subscribe. Chicago PR Prepper.